So here I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I love this. It's my absolutely go-to to keep all of my makeup on for the whole day. I'm using a round brush here and another Becca product. It's their Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation in shade Mink. I'm using the round brush to just go ahead and cover my entire face. Um, I really, really love using the round brushes. I mean, it makes the process for putting on makeup the easiest thing in the world. I'm really, really, really in love with the Becca line. I think it's amazing for women of color. I think the consistency, especially if you have dark circles like I do, or any imperfections on your face that you're trying to cover up. Um, sorry guys, I just got a little in my hair. But overall, I think that the Becca line is phenomenal. Um, you really can't go wrong, especially when you're looking for something to give you ultimate coverage. So I'm just gonna continue going over my face. You'll notice I'm leaving my eyes alone. I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer. I'm using Tarte's Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It's amazing. It has also a really great consistency to it and it's perfect for giving you that full coverage creaseless and it also happens to be waterproof. So I highly recommend it. You could also just use this and powder on its own if you didn't want to do a full face of foundation. I'm just gonna keep carrying on because like I said, I do have dark circles. They do happen to be hereditary. So I'm just gonna do my best to make sure that I cover everything. So you'll see me coat my eyes a few times here. And I'm also using a round brush, but a smaller one than the last one that you saw. And I'm just gonna go around my eyebrows making sure that that's all coated and I'm just going to also continue with my eyes and a couple areas in my face that I know that I have a few imperfections. So um, yeah, I love this um, option. Next I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and I use another Becca product. It's shade Mink and it's the Perfect Skin Mineral Powder. I just like to set everything with that. Now you're going to see me use um, my process to create kind of that contour look, but I do it with setting powder. So I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana, so that's what you're seeing me use right now. And I'm using my Beauty Blender, the back of it, or the rounded part, so that way I can just go ahead and lop on a lump sum of the powder. And I will be using that baking method that you see everybody talking about. And I just really love using this, especially for those summer days. It really keeps your makeup on and lasting, and especially if you have oily skin like I do. So I'm gonna do my lower cheek area on both sides. And again, you really just wanna kind of coat the areas that you're trying to set so you can lop on as much as you'd like. Um, so you'll see me kind of go in a few times and you'll see that I'll have a little bit more. It looks really crazy and it's kind of messy, but it's all worth it in the end. Now you're gonna see me use the Ben Eye in Chestnut Translucent Powder. And that's really just, again, creating that contour effect. And I, again, I'm just doing this process like you would with any contour palette. I'm just choosing to use setting powder to do the process. It's really gonna hold up on these summer days. So it's just something that um, I played around with and I'm really in love with because it really holds. So I'm gonna do that full contour effect where you'll see me do, you know, like around my head area, my nose region. And once I have enough product on, then I'm going to do that baking method. So let's go ahead and bake. And with the baking method, you can leave it on quite honestly, as long as you like. Um, I just usually kind of play around with how long I set it for, depending on if I've done my hair yet or not. So now that I'm done baking, I'm gonna take that amazing kabuki brush again 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it all in. It doesn't even matter that you're doing the entire face and not by section because it actually is setting and it baked in place. So everything that you go over will go ahead and stay as is, but you do wanna keep going until you have it blended in. So you will still see each section. And that's, again, creating that contour effect. So I'm just gonna keep carrying on all over my face. And I'm sure you guys can already see the lighter and the darker shades, which are creating that contour effect. My book Kabuki brush, by the way, is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It was so cheap and it's the most amazing brush I own. Highly recommend it. Okay, so once you're satisfied with the setting powder, now we can go ahead and start adding some powder. I'm actually using the Chocolate Bar Semi Sweet by Too Faced and I absolutely have to say one thing I love about Tarte's uh, Too Faced um, products is the scent. I mean it literally smells like a chocolate bar. It's ridiculous. Like you literally want to eat it. <laughs> so I'm carrying on and this is going to be in shade Blueberry Swirl. So Blueberry Swirl is what you're seeing me put on my eyes right now. And I'm just kind of going in and just putting it on as much as I want. You can wet the product and kind of use it as an eyeliner, which I think is really cool. Um, best part of all those that it smells amazing. So I'm gonna keep carrying on here and I'm just gonna keep adding um, a few layers just until I get the look that I'm going for. And then I'm also going to go ahead and use my next shade and that shade is gonna end up being Hot Fudge and Frosting. So um, I kinda just mix the two together but Hot Fudge and Frosting is what I put together they just kind of have a little shimmer to them and we'll just kind of add that added contrast. I don't know that this would necessarily be everyday makeup, but you definitely can do it, um, you know, if you're going out to something special or date night or anything fun. Um, personally, I don't care. I'll wear any shade anytime. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Carbon eyeliner this eyeliner is pretty neat from covergirl you actually will kind of hear a little bead inside and you will need to shake it it's a brow and liner powder and says number 800 on it so hopefully that helps if you guys are trying to look for it but um it's kind of neat um it has just a different texture to it kind of almost like a felt pen at the end um that i'm using to brush on the actual product it's really not a jet black or a matte bat black or anything like that. So it really just kind of adds a liner effect. So now I'm gonna go in with my Voluminous Carbon Black but Hydro Fudge by L'Oreal. I absolutely love this mascara. Um, this one does happen to be the waterproof version. My eyes tend to water sometimes, so I love using waterproof mascara. Um, because it lasts all day. I know everybody complains about it being hard to take off at the end of the day, but to me it's worth it, especially if you're wanting your makeup to last throughout the day like I do. So I'm not gonna be doing any type of eyelashes. I'm really just gonna stick with my own. And so you'll see me go in a couple times and it's really just because I'm trying to just get that volume effect. Um, to be honest with you guys, I tend to use a couple different mascaras, so you'll also see me go in with the Golden Rose 3D Fantastic Lash Mascara. Um, this mascara is amazing for creating that extra length, um, but sometimes you do have to wait a few minutes so that way the product can dry a little bit and then you can go in with it and lengthen your eyelashes. So. What I love about the Golden Rose is that you can literally put the brush directly on your lashes and scoop them up. 
I mean, it's really incredible how thin the brush is, so it really allows you to get in there. Um, I have relatively curly eyelashes, but sometimes they need a little bit of help, and so um, this particular brush really allows me to do that. Um, I could have gone in with an eyelash curler as well, um, but it just depends on how you're trying to kind of have your look and overall. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So if I don't, you'll just see me kind of go in a couple times before the product dries. So I'm going to keep kind of doing my lower lashes now just so that way I can coat them a little bit and give that finished effect. Um, and I think it's up to the person as to how long or how many strokes you really do, but I just like to try and get my eyelashes as defined as possible. So you can kind of see everything forming. Sorry guys, I know this part's a little long, but it's really just because I like really just being a perfectionist with my eyes, so try to go in as many times as possible. All right, now I'm gonna be using what everybody's always talking about. It's another Becca product, and it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. And I mean, what can I say about this? I mean, it's phenomenal. It's every single thing you could think of. It's shade Opal, which I absolutely love for my complexion. I honestly use it as eyeshadow. I use it as eyeliner. You can use it as anything you want, quite honestly, and you can put on as much as you want to. So here I'm just showing you guys how you can really glam it up and have that uh, perfect glow, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna be using a my one of my favorite lipstick lines, and it is by Maybelline, and this is number 945 Stormy Sahara. I like it because it's not quite a nude, it's not quite a pink, it's kind of in the in-between, but it's loud enough and perfect for summer. So I just like to kind of go in and, you know, outline my lips. I have pretty full lips, luckily, so, um, you know, a little goes a long way. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my lips off with another Tarte product. It's the Rainforest of the Sea Lip Saver Treatment Primer. You can put this as a base or you can put this above. Either way, it dries in a few seconds and just keeps it lasting all day. Now this product right here, oh my goodness. If you guys haven't picked this up, it's fantastic. It's the Dior Skin Air Flash Matte Touch Long Lasting Airy Powder. I love it. It makes your makeup last for hours. All right, well, hopefully you guys like the look. Um, be sure to like um, and subscribe on my YouTube channel at Beauty Obsessed.